perfect. Nobody's home. This is a good show. It's so dark in here. Oh, Howard, Ansel Adams, you're not. Oh, Bobby, that's icky. I make one heck of a good-looking grandma. Little Red Riding Hood will never know I'm really the wolf in disguise. Who is it? It is me, Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood. Come in. <clears throat> Come in, my dear. I've been waiting for you. That's Kelly! Bobby, hush. Ooh, it sure is dark in here, Grandma. Come a little closer, my dear. Kelly, that's not Grandma. It's the wolf. Shh, shh. Eek. My, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with. That's the wolf, stupid. You leave my sister alone. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this, Bobby. Let me consult the Captain Squash manual. Things Captain Squash is afraid of. Monsters, no problem. Ghosts, a little nervous about. Wolves, really, really scared of. Are you two finished? Cause this is the point in the story where I'm supposed to eat somebody. Help! 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 We're Hansel. And Gretel. You have to save us before our wicked stepmother turns us into gingerbread cookies. Gee, I'd like to help you, but I have to save my sister first. <laughs> Excuse me, have you ever heard of toothpaste? Here I come, Kelly! Fact. Here's Jackie! <laughs> I'm the guy from the beanstalk, and I got a giant after me, you know what I mean? Four, three, five, thumb. I'm smelling the blood of an Englishman. Help! Ah! It's okay. I've got it under control. Sorry! No Englishmen! Only Frenchmen in here! Listen! Everybody! Prairie Jacques, Prairie Jacques, how's your nose? How's your nose? I'll be back. Good work, Bobby. He's gone. Bobby! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. And now I'm gonna save my sister! Well, Bobby, for corn's sake, put a sock in it. People are trying to watch the play, don't you know? I'm coming, Kelly! Howard, I, I think we ought to go. But it's the best part. Oh. Do you remember what I told you? This is just a jiggly play? That's right, honey. And you remember what else? The wolf's not really a wolf. Right. He's an actor playing a wolf. Right. So you ready to meet him now? No. <laughs> Come on, don't be scared, Bobbo. This is just Freddy, a boy in Kelly's class. Uh, Freddy, take off your head and show Bobbo who you really are. See? <laughs> what did I tell you? The fact that a wolf can take his head off is supposed to make me feel better? Hiya, boy. Just checking. Who's down there? It's just us, Aunt Ruth. Oh, that poor thing. Sick in bed with the sniffles, don't you know? Hey, why don't one of you kids go up and see if she needs anything? Well, you heard Mom. You heard Mom, Tweeb. You go. Why don't you go? Or, or Kelly? Well, uh, um, oh, like you're her favorite nephew, right? Well, yeah. I guess I am. I think this is what Dad calls hoisting yourself on your own perturd. Well, whatever that is. Uh-oh. And Ruth? Are, are you here? Over here, Bobby. I've been waiting for you. Uh, oh, what, what, what big eyes you have. And what, what, what big whiskers you have. And what, and what, what big teeth you have. You're not Aunt Ruth. You're the wolf. Ah! Mommy, 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 mommy. He followed us home. He followed us home. Oh, oh, th there now, hon. What is all this fuss budget about? Take off her head and see who she is. Take 
off whose head, Bobby? Aunt Ruth! I mean the wolf! I mean Aunt Ruth the wolf! No, Aunt no, no, Ruth, Bobby. Wolf. Wolves are make-believe. Aunt Ruth is real. Yeah, real scary. <laughs> hey, don't tell anybody else, Bobo. But she scares me, too. Oh, this is worse than I thought. I'm afraid we're going to be having some more of those cheek alley nightmares again, Howard. Oh, no, not again. We have to do something, Martha, but but what? You got to show them what make-believe's all about. Well, that's it, by golly. Um, aren't you in charge of the Elephant Lodge talent show, Ted? Yeah. And didn't you write a little play show for it? Yeah, but we're not talking about me. You know, we're talking about... Oh, I see where you're going. You mean I, if I put Bobby? Uh-huh, uh-huh, bingo. How'd you like to be an actor in my play, Bobo? An actor? Wow, that would be great, Uncle Ted. But what I'd really like to do is direct. Okay, that's a keeper. Thank you, ladies. Next. How about me, Uncle Ted? I can sing now. No, no, Bobbo. I told you, you're in the play. You're in, you're in. You got the role. These people are trying out for the variety show. Next! Now, <laughs> uh, the bowling alley's downstairs, fellas. Well, that's it for the variety, X. Uh, so what do you say, Bobby? You want to rehearse the play? Oh, boy! Ted, I, I don't know about this part you gave me. I... Uh, Howard, now remember, we're doing this for Bobby. Hope we're not doing this for very long. I'm losing valuable skateboard time. People, people, focus. Come on, let's be professional here. Kelly, take your first line from right over there. Yeah, okay. Go on, Kelly. Say your first line. Like, I don't get it, okay? What's my motivation for saying, who is that knocking at the door? Uh, right you are. Let's see. Uh, Bobo, go over there and uh, knock on the door. Well, I don't see a door. All right, then pretend. Knock, knock, knock. Psst. Kelly, what was your motivation or something? Excuse me, I know, Bobby. But, you know, I was thinking, Uncle Ted, wouldn't it be better if he just rang the bell instead? I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh... Oh, no. Bobby couldn't reach the bell. Well, he could if he jumped. You're on to something. Where's the bell? I don't see a bell. Okay, okay. I think we've rehearsed enough for the first day. I think he had a good, uh, good work, everybody. If he jump, if you would have just let him oh, jump, no. it would have no, worked. Oh, no. He's just not... I don't want him to... Not. Bobby! Oh. Bobby, that's my name. Oh, I have a special job for you. Can I sing? No, it's better. You're gonna sell tickets. No, thanks. Oh, come on, Bobbo. It's part of the theater. Pitching in, helping out, being a real trooper. A real trooper? Okay there, buddy. Where's the fire? You were going so fast you broke the sound barrier. Yeah, that kind of thing can't go unpunished. I'm gonna have to give you two tickets to my family's place. And if you do it again, you're gonna have to marry my sister. Way to go, Bobo! I knew I could count on you. That's the secret of selling. Yeah, I guess. But it doesn't hurt to be adorable, either. Well, that's it. Become the tree. Feel the breeze in your branches. Feel the bark on your limbs. What's going on? Oh, it's an improv, Bobby. We're pretending to be trees. Okay, trees. Now here comes the wind. Shh. I'd rather sing. Maybe later, Bobbo. But right now, think tree. Feel tree. Be tree. Okay, I'll try it. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. I'm a tree blind mice. Tree blind mice. Okay, Bobby, thank you. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. I'm a little tree. Pot short and stout. Here is my handle and here. Bobby, trees don't sing. Uh oh. Am I in trouble?
trouble? Nah, <laughs> never mind the tree stuff. Hey, how'd you do with the tickets? I sold them all. Way to go, Babo! <laughs> with all those people coming to see you, you're gonna be a big star. I'm gonna be a big star. <laughs> Now please give it up for Bobby. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you stopped by, Bobby. So tell me, what have you been up to lately? Well, been doing a Saturday morning cartoon show based on my life. <laughs> and I just made a movie with that fabulous actor, Howie Mandel. Great. Did you bring us a clip? I did. But wouldn't you rather hear me sing first? Um, no thanks. Okay, here's a clip of Bobby and who killed Fivel? No, Arsenio, it's called Who Left Fivel in the Dust? Kick it, Sandy. I play ball. No! Jump ball! Jump! You saved my life. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Bo? something else. You gotta learn your lines. Learn my lines? I'd like to welcome all of you to this year's Elephant Lodge annual talent show. Our first act tonight is the world's greatest hypnotist. So let's give a rousing elephant welcome to Mesmer the Magnificent. Thank you very much. In order to demonstrate my powers, I'll need a volunteer from the audience. <laughs> a stranger. An absolute total stranger. <laughs> How about you, Aunt Ruth? You're getting sleepy, sleepy. It's not working. You're asleep. Very good, Aunt Ruth. Now, when you hear a bell, you will think you are a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Better bring her back before she lays an egg. <laughs> when I snap my fingers, you'll wake up happy and refreshed and have no memory of anything that has happened here. Well, I told you it wouldn't work. And there, that's got it. Oh, <laughs> Howard, you look just like your mother, don't you know? <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm not wearing this silly costume. Oh, don't be a sore sport, Howard. Remember, we're doing this for Bobby. Where is Bobby? Now Bobby's here. Just us villains. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Howard, look how cute he is. Let's take pictures. I'll take them, but I won't be in them. Derek, come on out here. No way, no how, not ever. Well, if I can do it, young man, you can do it. Now get out here. Oh, Derek, don't you look nice now? Hello, okay, coming through. Scenery. Get yep. you guys, Watch your back. Fire eater at 10 o'clock. Roger. No, Roger had to stay home. Having a good time, Bobo? You bet. When's it my turn? Right after intermission. And when's intermission? Well, right now. Ah, Zooks! Can I have a soda, please? Here, have some lentil soup instead. It's more nourishing. Hey, everybody, take your seats. The second act is about to start. Like a sailor. Aye, aye, skipper. Dear Granny, dear daughter Henrietta, look. Our flower is blooming. Derek. Hate this. Oh, yeah, yes. Tis the first day of spring. I said spring. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. That's a good I take responsibility. My fault. My fault. No, no. Entirely. Mm -mm. Like, who is it? It is Horace, the handsome hero. We're saved. That's not Horace, lady. That's the evil villain. Wait, I'm not really a villain. I'm Bobby. See? It's make-believe. Oh, I get it. Right. I must be a pretty good actor. I have found you out, fair Henrietta. You're coming with me. Yeah. Oh, gee golly, Howard, isn't he cute? I'm not cute, I'm scary. All right. <laughs> this will clean you up nice. <laughs> Why do moms do that? <laughs> You're mine now. Yeah, like in your dreams. Which will it be? 
like I'm thinking it over, okay? Fear not, Henrietta, for I am coming to save you! Whoa! <laughs> That's a sprain. What happened to Uncle Ted? He's sitting on the bend. Uh, like, what are we gonna do now? Now, I will sing a song. <laughs> to be an animal would be better than being a boy. Just the thought of it, it fills me with joy. There's so many reasons so hard to resist. Just one main reason at the top of my list. Animals don't wear underpants. You're not to roam free. They have nothing on above their knee. I always have to change my underpants. Well, maybe once a week. <laughs> oh, if only I was an animal with my two free little cheeks. If you're sure you understand about make-believe. I do, I do! Ooh, what big eyes you have! The better to see you with. My, what big whiskers you have! Hooray! That's the grandma! It's the wolf! Here we go again. I told you I was a pretty good actor. <laughs> Bobby, you're right. You know, there was one scene in this show, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think I actually cried. Well, do you, you think I'll win an Emmy for this show? Yeah. Well then, well then I'd like to thank the Academy, and my manager, Mike, and Ginny McSwain, and everybody at Film Roman, and Gary Conrad, uh, and the uh, cast, Bobby, and the crew. Uh, this is such you, an honor. You, you, uh, you haven't won anything yet. Oh, and goodbye.